Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had several questions from viewers about circuit boards and in particular circuit boards that have a rubberized filling or plastic filling as you can see behind me these circuit boards and you will find these in any types of appliances that the circuit board is submerged in water so washing machines will have these dishwashers and the other question from that viewer was do you have to remove the rubberized filling um, will they accept this as e-waste price and is it more valuable to separate the materials if at all possible so want to answer those questions today want to show you how easy it is to take some of these ma these materials out more importantly how to maximize your profit uh, because there are a lot of goodies inside of these and yes unfortunately some of them as you can see here with that thick rubberized filling they can be a little bit tricky to remove the items but want to look at some of the items that are worth taking out and show you how to do that i do also want to address another question i had from a viewer about circuit boards and that question was about these small little rings you see these rings you will find on um, microwaves for example and the question was is that circle filling inside brass or gold uh, and unfortunately it is not gold it is brass um, but they definitely are still worth taking uh, and you will find these on other appliance circuit boards but yes that is brass here is one that actually does not come in the gold filling However, this one, this came out of a larger style. I think this was a microwave oven. But notice here, this was a little bit nicer. This has some gold prongs to it. So you never know what you're going to get. Um, again, this is not gold, but this is gold. So thanks for that question. Um, and again, keep stacking those up. Just like your O-rings from your magnetrons from the microwaves, they are not gold. They too are brass. Sorry, Dad. Um, but here we go with this. I'm going to look at a couple different styles and there are some things that or some circuit boards that are not worth taking apart in my opinion. So all of these you can see there is a thick rubber inside of them and at my scrapyard that I take this stuff to all of these the good news at any scrapyards you will still get e-waste price for this which is about five cents a pound. All of these you will not get high grade value regardless of what's on them uh, and that is because there is the thick rubber um, components on here um, so definitely these are way better taking the items out of here um, you're gonna definitely as I said with the weight of this this rubber for sure makes it heavy as well it is almost impossible to remove this out of the plastic so scrap yards will definitely factor this into the price um, and that's why they will just give you low grade or e-waste price and as i said i get about five cents a pound but as you can see with this there are a couple goodies on this one here is a really nice aluminum heat sink this is actually going to be classified as extrusion which is a form of aluminum painted extrusion because it is painted black but i'm still going to get like a dollar 25 for this a pound there are right here a couple um, relay boxes. These relay boxes do have some um, copper inside of them as well as a silver contact. There is some copper ring there. As well, you have your wire here. This wire, I'm looking at the strands inside of them. They are all copper inside. So you do want to remove as much of that off as you can. There you can see I just pull these prongs off. So this would be classified as your 60% uh, appliance wire because they are one stranded of copper, one stranding of plastic coating. So all of these are going to definitely be 60%. So just pulling them out and, and I'll just leave the rest of these inside of them. But you definitely want to make sure, first of all, if you get the wire, you do also have to make sure for something like this, I remove the tape as well as this uh, magnetic ring because that is going to go into my tin. Um, these capacitors they are never worth taking off i have done an experiment on those that uh, show you they are not worth taking them off there is actually not even a category at scrap some scrap yards for aluminum capacitors here's another one you can see obviously there is my circuit board some of these things like this um uh what is that sorry uh, crystal oscillator 
You can't even touch that crystal oscillator because the coating is so thick, but it does have, as I said, some really nice uh, aluminum heat sinks here. These ones would be clean. You do have some prongs, any type of screws that are attached to your aluminum heat sinks do have copper inside of them. And the nice thing about some of these things, very easy, all you really have to do, and I'm just gonna do a couple of these, is just take a pair of pliers like this or a, just a pair of any type of vice grip or what have you, and just pull it out. You can see that it came out very nice. It didn't even have any of the coating on it. I'll take this one out too. There you go, look at that. That just pulled it out of that. So these are definitely gonna be worth it. Here's a bigger one. I'm just gonna snap. Maybe I might have to use my bench for some of them, but just gonna use my bench for this. Pull it out. Look at that, it just comes out nicely. I do have to wanna make sure I take that screw out, but I said this connector here is gonna be number two copper. And I have shown these prongs before. I'm gonna show it again. Look at this beautiful bin full of these prongs. As I said, this is all number two copper. This weighs, I think, three and a half pounds of just number two prongs. So those are all prongs that you get off the circuit board. So all of them are definitely worth it. This one right here, this is another great uh, circuit board here. Again, there's my heavy plastic. I'm only gonna get, as I said, five cents a pound for this, but I have two really nice relay boxes here and a beautiful transformer. This transformer is gonna be loaded with uh, copper, number two copper, as well I have four smaller relay boxes there and a couple heat sinks. So again, same method, I'm gonna look at in a second. This one right here, not gonna touch this one. I'm just gonna leave this. If I look at this, there are some little buttons here. Every one of these has a small little touch, touch of silver. This is a small relay box as well. I could try and get that. I'm gonna try right now. See if I can get it with a pair of pliers. It might break open, but the nice thing is even if I break the top off like I did there, I can still grab right there. There is a little bit you can see, and I can use my side cutters. There's the top of it. But there here is a little piece of brass that I can get out of that. But the rest of this I'm gonna leave it and I am gonna get actually a benefit from this because this is heavy plastic and I will still get e-waste, five cents a pound for that. So really heavy. So sometimes it's definitely worth leaving it, leaving the rubberized stuff in there because this is going to add up just from the plastic that's attached to the circuit board. Um, but again, I'm gonna work on this one here just to get that transformer. Sometimes the nice thing is too is when you were working with these, couple things that you wanna have is a type of pry bar, if you will, a hammer, a thicker screwdriver. So I'm gonna just work on this one right here, see if I can just take it out. I always attach it to something, so I'm gonna use the base of my vise here. Just gonna hit this, as I said, with my hammer to see if I can break through it. So you can see that it does break up the rubber, I can hopefully you can see right there my finger, and just gonna, as I said, use leverage to pull this up. There it is. Sometimes it's just attached. So look at that. There it is. That circuit, or this transformer, as I said, I'm gonna open that in a bit. It has two beautiful spools of copper. I've actually just taken one apart, and here is the beautiful copper that comes out of it. The nice thing is the rest of this transformer is gonna have uh, the brackets here or the little armatures, uh, prongs are gonna go into my tin shred. But that number two, here's another bag of my motors and transformers, okay? It's very shiny inside, even though it is very thin and it looks like bare bright color, all of your transformer wire is gonna go into number two. And currently right now, number two copper price is going for $3.50 a pound. The tin part of that is going to go for eight cents a pound. So I'm getting 100% scrap here, except for this little piece of plastic, but two different things. Some people will throw these into transformers as is and get 10 to 15 cents a pound. Again, well worth your time taking it out. It is very easy to do. And the nice thing about this too is it no longer has any of that rubberized 
Gunk on it. I'm gonna try tackling one of these relay boxes to see if I can get through it again. Same method, just gonna take a large flathead, put it up against the base. And as I said, sometimes it just breaks open, which is fine. Okay, so there is the top of it. But here is my copper spool. And now I can actually just use more leverage, pry it up. Okay, there it is. And I can work on both sides. But there it is. The shell stays in. And the rest of this, just going to... Cut that last prong out. Okay, so there you go. There's the rest of that, it just stays in. But here is another small copper spool. There is what I talked about with a silver contact. You can see that little dot on that silver. Uh, the little speck is silver, not the entire thing. Uh, there is also a little bit of copper on this. So I throw all of this, obviously gonna separate it. Um, there is a little bit of tin on this, but another spool of number two. And again, still going to get the value for this circuit board. Just as I said with these, going to grab this plier, pull it off, boom. Okay, last one I want to work on or look at is the thicker um, um, metal heat sink here or aluminum heat sink here. It does have, you can see, two prongs in the middle there. So I am going to have to try and work this up. Um, again, it is going to be impossible to pull this out, so I am going to leave the plastic on, um, but I do want to make sure I get that little donut, these relay boxes, this transformer, and this little money maker here. So again, last thing I'm going to show, just going to put some safety glasses on because I always want to make sure, safety first, regardless. harder for sure. It does have, as I said, those prongs are going to be tricky. So I want to try and work at it and come up on the side of it. Okay, now, now I'm under it, which is great. So there we go. Look at that. Okay, so now this nice piece of painted extrusion there is right here, look at that, that is that prong underneath. There is, there's the copper you can see. And I'm actually just gonna pull this up, look at that. So that is another little piece of copper. Again, that's one of those prongs, that's why we call it number two, okay? But I definitely wanna make sure if I'm gonna bring this in, I have to remove the screws out of here. So if I do not remove the screws out of this, it is going to be classified as dirty aluminum extrusion and I'm gonna get penalized. Um, I don't have my screwdriver right here beside me, but very easy as you can see, just pulling it out this way. Okay, all of my screws I put into tin, but definitely look at that, how easy that is. So definitely easy to do. You do wanna remove the goodies like aluminum heat sinks, your copper transformers, any of those types of things um, and obviously as I said your wiring um, but again very good question hopefully that answered that yes they are worth scrap value still e-waste please don't pass them up anymore um, to the other viewer yes this is brass still worth uh, yellow brass right now even though this is not very heavy still worth I think 250 a pound so I just store them up um, but uh, again great great question Please continue asking away. I will do my best to ask or to answer, sorry. Uh, but yes, circuit boards with the wax, you will find those in a lot of submerged, watered um, appliances, dishwashers, washing machines. So thanks again. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.